Hi guys, this is the Affiliate Hustler back again with a new video. So in today's video I want to show you uh, a, a cool well, a cool setting, a cool thing you can do with ClickBank and Facebook ads that really no one is teaching and this is crucial for tracking your ClickBank affiliate campaigns. And I, I see many people teaching you how to make money online with ClickBank, but I see nobody explaining you something basic as how to install a pixel for tracking your ClickBank sales Th through Facebook, for example, for through the Facebook Pixel, uh, most most affiliates do Facebook ads in order to promote ClickBank offers. So, I see these videos trying to teach you how to promote ClickBank offers, but no one is teaching you how to really install the Pixel on ClickBank offers so that you can track your sales. Yes, uh, hope this. Uh, hypes you and obviously so that then you can take action and start your uh, testing your affiliate campaigns through Clickbank because obviously the most important thing of affiliate marketing is that you track all of what you're doing yes because if you don't track then you can't you can't you aren't able to optimize your campaigns yes so before we jump into the video if you want more value more valuable content like this please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified when i release these type of videos and obviously make sure to see until the end so that you fully understand how to install a pixel for clickbank offers this will serve you as a vendor and this will serve you as an affiliate yes but i'm as an, i'm an affiliate so this will help most affiliates out there who want to start affiliate marketing with clickbank yes so let's get with without further ado into the video So guys, um, this is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, I'm going to teach you uh, first how to install a pixel on the. Sorry, that's my cat scratching the sofa. Hey, hey! Well, I will just ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> uh, so you will go to your business ads manager. You obviously face. You are going to do. I will take for granted that you obviously have already made a business a Facebook business account if you want to do Facebook ads yes I will take that for granted yes um, so uh, obviously then once you are logged into your account I have four business accounts for my Facebook ads mainly for four types of businesses businesses that I have but uh, you just choose the business of your liking and you will go to uh, the tab in here and you will go to pixels and this is very important and this is the thing that no one is teaching you about Clickbank is that for every offer that you are promoting on Facebook ads you will have to create individually for every offer a, a, a pixel yes so let me repeat that again because this, this can be confusing it, it can be quite confusing yes so for every new for every offer that you will be promoting on facebook ads you will have to create an individual pixel for that particular offer yes why do we do that why do why i i mentioned this and why you will have to do this yes and why do we do that yes this is because you don't you want uh, the, the the prospects and the sales and the order forms for a particular product to be on a particular pixel so you don't want a pixel to gather all the information of you of all the products you're promoting of Clickbank because let's say you're promoting Cinderella the Cinderella solution you're promoting the Ted's woodworking you're promoting the 12 minutes affiliate and you're promoting the John Crestani offer if you have one pixel connected to Clickbank uh, if you have one pixel of on Facebook connected to Clickbank, the the thing is that only the that pixel will only track will tr that their pixel will track the sales from the 12 minutes affiliate, from the Cinderella solution, from the test word woodworking, and from the John Crestani offer. Yes, so it will track the sales from the four offers that you are promoting. Yes why is why that's wrong and why you shouldn't do that because when you're doing that you're mixing the information of the four products and 
you don't you are no, you are leaving no room for improvement or for optimization of your advertisements yes so when I tell you that you should build uh, create a pixel for a particular product so you should make something like pixel of Cinderella solution pixel of John Grassani offer you will gather the information of only of the Cinderella solution prospects you will gather the only the Cinderella solution sales the Cinderella solution order forms and the Cinderella solution page view or page visits yes so that you don't mix the people who bought from John who bought the John Grestani offer or who bought the 12 minute affiliate or who bought the Ted's woodworking product yes though you don't want to mix information because when because once you have information of an, of an individual product and you have sales and you have order forms and you have basically the basic info to optimize you all, you will can then create audiences of the people who purchase the you will can you go you can go to the audience tabs uh, here you can go to the audience and based on the information that the pixel gather you can create a uh, you can create a localized a, a lookalike audience of the people who what the product uh, from Ted's Woodworking you can create a product from the people who bought um, who bought the John Cristani offer uh, you can create a lookalike audience from the people who create who bought the Cinderella solution so the, you don't mix the 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 the, the, the audiences and you will have uh, obviously room for more conversions and obviously by separating the audiences you will ha you will have more conversions because obviously you will have more people to make ads to now the only downside to to clickbank is that for every offer that you're promoting in order to the pixel to gather one, in, one to gather only the information of one offer is that you will have to promote on facebook one product at a time yes but don't worry there's a way where you can promote more two products uh, at the same time yes but you will uh, there is something that you you should do yes that this is not a problem of facebook this is more a problem of clickbank now in a minute i will tell you why yes but i will first for demonstration purposes i will create a pixel and i will pro uh, create a pixel for example for the cinderella solution product okay so i have to uh, change business uh facebook business to change to another facebook business because I wasn't able. I don't know what's happen, it's happening in the business manager that it's not allowing me to create uh, a, 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 another pixel. But here I have two pixels. I have more than two pixels that I can show you for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to set up the pixel, and you you will only need the pixel ID to install it on ClickBank. Yes, you will have to go to your ClickBank account. You will have to go to Pender settings. And you will to you will go to you will have to scroll down to in integrated sales reporting, and you will go to add to tra add tracking code, and you will choose Facebook Pixel, yes. And here you will paste the Pixel ID, yes. You will choose affiliate, or if you're just if you're if you're selling a product through ClickBank, you just choose vendor and you will click on order form and confirmation page so that the pixel gathers the people who went through the confirmation page that means sales and the people who order are, went on the other page but maybe they didn't complete the sale yes you click on save and here you will go and you will scroll down and you will see something that says inactive now let me add another pixel yes uh, let me add the pixel, the pixel, and I will copy to clipboard. This is from another business. Uh, I'm not going to explain <laughs> why they have that name. So I will add this pixel, and this is for demonstration purposes because I want to prove my point uh, to you why the 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 play button the why the inactive and the not active button is important and this is why this is the the thing that I'm going to explain now I learned from the help section on Clickbank 
where you where it says that you if you're going to do Facebook ads or you're going to use a platform for advertising and you want to track the sales, you will have to in you will have to promote uh, through this advertising platform one offer at a time. Yes, you can't you can promote to more than two offers at a time. But in order to do that, you will have to have more than one ClickBank account. Yes, because the thing is that uh, if you want to promote more than two products uh, and you want one pix you want one pixel to track one offer and other pixel to track another offer, as you can see, the, both will be active. Well, but let me show you let me show you what happens. When you have both, when you have both pixels active, yes, it will trigger both. It will trigger both of them, yes, and you don't want that. As I mentioned, you want to trigger only one pixel when you are promoting a product, yes. So let's go, for example, to the to the Clickbank University offer, and let's go to the sales page and let's go to the order form. And you will have to install the the, uh, the Facebook Pixel Helper, which is a Chrome extension that tells you that the Facebook Pixel is correctly installed. So here we are on the checkout page, and uh, um, if you go to the Pixel Helper, you'll see that the two pack the two pixels are installed: the article pixel and the pixel of Beetle Max. That is the both pixels that I installed. Yes, the it will it it will add the cart the cart uh, check or the initiate checkout pixel. It will trigger, and if I buy if I buy the product, it will trigger the uh, complete the completion of the of the product. Meaning it it will track the purchase the the, the purchase the sell the sale. So as you can see, this is my hop link, meaning that. I am the referrer, so that that's bad. Let's say that the article pixel is the pixel of the Clickbank University. You only want to, uh, for every offer, to only trigger the pixel that corresponds to the offer. Yes, uh, obviously you will have your own name, so so that you can reference the pixel to the offer you are promoting. But in order to do this, you will have to go to back to. To Clickbank, you will have to go back to the to to the vendor settings, and you will go back to the integrated sales reporting, and you will have to put one of these two pixels on inactive, in order to in order for one pixel to trigger at a time. And as I said, you can't promote more than two offers at a time when you're doing Clickbank products. Yes. The only downside, so as to track properly, is that you will have to tra to promote on Facebook one product at a time. But if you think about it, there is no rush. Uh, mainly, if a product, if you are testing various uh, various products, you can test one at a time, and you can, uh, uh, as you go test, as you are testing and testing, you can go disactivating the pixels on Clickbank so that you don't mix up the information of the pixels yes and so that the you, you trigger the you only trigger the pixel you desire for the desired offer for the desired pixel you created for that offer yes hope doesn't you you don't find that confusing I at first uh, found this very confusing but it will help you to track your sales and your analytics for your Clickbank offers, and this is why they have this inactive and active uh, uh, button to disable the tracking code. Yes. So, if you like this video, please comment in the section below what you think. If you uh, understand what I explained in this video, like, and uh, if you want more content like this, obviously subscribe and share this video. I will be seeing you in the next video, guys.